Sierra Bahadur Zada is 34. Millinder is three inches taller. That matches his edge in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we turn it over to the veteran voice, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record. 24 wins, six losses, one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, by way of Kabul, Afghanistan, Siyar the Great Baharazah. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 16 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Fullerton, California, courteous Coaches Melinda. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mike Beltran. Oh, we like the stare down. Of course, we like the Mike side. Beltron mustache. Ariane Celeste is here. Curtis Millinder, born in San Bernardino, fights out of Fullerton, California. Ben Jones, his longtime chief corner. All right, gentlemen, first round. You better fight. You better fight. Head up. Let's go. Sears says everybody's a great striker, everybody's a great ground fighter. But the thing that separates him from everybody else is he's got balls, he says. I'm pretty sure Millinder has balls as well. That's my point. <laughs> so what's going to really happen is... It's his belief. That's, you know I mean? that, that's his power yeah. in his head. Absolutely. And, and the fact is. that he knows he could smash people. There's that cheap kick in the right hand right off the bat. Those are his two best weapons that he uses over and over. And he finds the timing as he finds his range. See here. Look at the length of Millinder. It's just long. Long and knows how to use it. It reminds me a little bit of John, John Jones in that range. That he's just excellent at utilizing that advantage that he has in his frame. Well, after John started fighting the way he did, I started to see a lot of gentlemen take a lot of the fundamentals that he uses, this teeth kick to the front. If you got a long stature, long limbs, you try to fight somewhat like John Jones. And Curtis Millinder has similarities, just like we've seen a lot of guys talk about fighting like John Jones. And it's that frame that they have that they know how to use very well. Bar Dezada just kind of glanced him with a left hook there. Millinder's got to be careful. Got to be careful closing that distance. Because Bar is loading up with every shot. Hey, you we'll see that tip kick to the knee stops the overhand right from being able to throw when he wants to. So it is a good weapon that he's using in Millinder. That'll slow down the right hand of Bahar Dezada. Bahar Dezada is, uh, he's not a, a guy that'll throw things at 50% speed and then ramp it up. Almost everything he throws is 100%. They're very nice there by Millinder. Took the base out. Bahadur Zada with a finish in all four of his UFC wins. Oh! Bahadur Zada shakes off that spinning attack from Millinder, but it appeared to land at least partially. It definitely landed partially. But CR can take it. But you don't want to take too many of those. He takes pride in being able to take a lot of damage and keep throwing. That's one of the things he mentions. But this is what I was saying about Millinder, that this is going to be a factor. It's not just the reach, but the utilization of kicks. He's got a much more kick-heavy game than CR does. It's basically just having more weapons, like you're saying, Joe, and it's hard to deal with somebody who has more weapons than you. And there was that knee. He tried to sneak it up the middle. The movement there by Millinder, just out of the range, but close enough to attack. Yeah, Millinder's worked hard on his movement. His footwork just out of range with that offering there. He's doing a good job of switching stances, too, in the middle of throwing kicks or throw a punch. He's been very hard to read right now. Well, see, he's got, as Millinder has the reach advantage, I'd like to see Sierra be able to start fainting more, faking more. Otherwise, he's going to have a hard time because he's just too far out for Millinder. you got to fake your way in and then try to pull out the punches of Millinder and slip those to get inside. That's the best chance. And watch the knees on the way in. The outside leg kick, beautiful. And Millinder, he clipped him there with that right. 
No denying the one-punch knockout power of Bahadur Zada. Well, the way he throws, he commits to his punches, John, and he's doing that right now. He has faith in that one-punch knockout, and he just eats shots until he lands it. He's eating a lot, though. A lot. And in getting very emotional and trying to get these shots back, he's really opening himself up. Well, Joe, in my opinion, the leg kicks are what are really going to stop the power of the hands mm -hmm. of Sierra over, the, over this fight if he keeps eating them. A little flurry there from Sear. There's a lot of wasted energy. He's like really biting down and swinging hard and not getting much return for his investment. Under a minute here to go round one, Millinder attacks the body again. The thing about a guy like Bahar Posada, though, all it takes is one shot. Right. All it takes is one shot and everything changes. So Millinder's got to mind his P's and Q's. And it's not that Millinder can't put him out, but it's Millinder is fighting a more technique, more technical style. Like, he's, he's not throwing things with all of his might. With Bahar Dezada, you make one mistake, and if he lands, he's going to land with everything he's got from the toes. Again, Milliner mixing it up well. I just love that Milliner's using that jab so much. It, it's a great, you got to use that weapon against Sierra and keep him at distance, and that's exactly what he's doing. The jab and the cheap kicks to the legs with the low kicks to the legs are really causing problems for Sierra. Let's, I, I'm curious to see how he adjusts in this next round. Here's some of the kicks that are Milliner's landing. That's a calf kick. That'll beat you up real quick. The spinning kick to the head just blocked. Still hurts. Another head kick. And that's all those kicks are coming off setups with the hands first. Low kick to the leg. I mean, over and over, he cannot keep eating those low kicks. How are you doing? All right, so you just a little slow. You give that first round so you stayed long with him. You gave him a lot of forward pressure, all right? Forward pressure, but I need your feet to come with you. You have to bring those feet with you, Sierra, and knock your ass out, all right? So, you hit him with a blue or a nine, follow the five, then get ready to follow again, all right? Aiming forward, cross line, et cetera. Little bro. So, you need to put two or three together, CR, mm -hmm. and just move around that jab. He's, everything's based around that jab for him right now, so just move around that jab. Two or three shots. Don't stop with two or three shots. Well, when the calendar turns to 2019, UFC Fight Pass will be doubling its live event schedule, showcasing more than 200 exclusive events featuring top promotions from around the globe with more than 1,000 hours of live combat sports programming, including MMA, boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, submission grappling, and more. Every night is fight night with UFC Fight Pass. All right, gentlemen, second round. Ready to fight. Ready to fight. Pedal. Let's go. Craig Jackson's exactly right. He Millinder gets the jab going, and then he sets up everything else from that. So that's what Sierra needs to get rid of. Counter that jab. There it is. The pressure. He's got to keep Millinder on his heels as he's doing now. He landed a good kick to the body there. The way he throws punches, too, they're, they're really from the hips. I mean, he keeps his hands way low. And he's...